The Little Cornbread Girl by Deborah Orr Narrated by Jess Ona. Time was long in the country. Ma and Pa were sitting in their rocking chairs, enjoying a lazy afternoon. Pa said, Ma, you know what I have a taste for? What do you have a taste for, Pa? asked Ma. Some hot buttered cornbread, said Pa. So Ma decided she was going to make Pa and her some cornbread. She got out her mixing bowl. This is what she put in the bowl. Two cups of self-rising cornbread, two eggs beaten, two cups of buttermilk, and two tablespoons of bacon drippings. She combined all the ingredients in the bowl. She mixed them well using her best whisk. Then she got out a hot skillet and poured the batter onto the pan. Because Ma had always wanted a little girl, she shaped the cornbread into a little girl. Now it was time to put the cornbread in the oven. After a while, the aroma of the cornbread filled the room. Yummy, said Pa. That cornbread smells good. When will it be ready, Ma? Just a few more minutes, Pa, Ma said. Soon the cornbread was ready. Ma pulled the pan from the big oven and set it on the counter to cool off. Oh, Pa, she looks like a real little girl, Ma exclaimed. Look at her golden brown skin. I can't eat any of this cornbread. Well, I sure can. Pa went to get his knife and the butter he was just about to cut the cornbread when, to his surprise, the little cornbread girl jumped up in the air and said, Run, run, all around the world. You can't catch me. I'm the cornbread girl. She took off running down the road, leaving Ma and Pa behind. She passed the farm dog. The dog said, Bow, wow, what is that I smell? It smells like cornbread. Yes, said the little cornbread girl. Ma made me out of cornbread, and then I ran away. Would you like to be buried with my bone? The dog asked. Oh no, said the little cornbread girl. I ran away from Ma and Pa, and now I'm going to run away from you. You think you can outrun me? Asked the dog. The little cornbread girl laughed. Run, run, all around the world. You can't catch me. I'm the cornbread girl. She took off running down the road, leaving Ma, Pa and the dog behind. She ran down the road until she passed the cow. Moo, moo, said the cow. I smell good old cornbread. Yes, said the little cornbread girl. Ma made me out of cornbread and then I ran away. Would you like to jump in the grass while I eat? The cow asked. Oh no, said the little cornbread girl. I ran away from Ma, Pa and the dog and now I'm going to run away from you. You think you can outrun me? Asked the cow. The little cornbread girl laughed. Run, run, all around the world. You can't catch me. I'm the cornbread girl. She took off running down the road, leaving Ma, Pa, the dog and the cow behind. She ran on until she met a horse. Nay, nay, said the horse. Something sure smells good, said the horse. Oh, it's only me. Ma made me out of cornbread and then I ran away, said the cornbread girl. Well, said the horse, why don't you jump in this bag of oats? Oh no, said the little cornbread girl. I ran away from Ma, Pa, the dog and the cow and now I'm going to run away from you. You think you can outrun me? asked the horse. I am a prize racehorse. The little cornbread girl laughed. Run, run, all around the world. You can't catch me. I'm the cornbread girl. She took off running down the road, leaving Ma, Pa, the dog, the cow and the horse behind. She ran on down the road until she passed the pig. The pig snorted. (sighs) Something sure smells good. What is that smell? It's only me, said the little cornbread girl. Ma made me out of cornbread, and then I ran away. Would you like to make mud pies? The pig asked. 
I know you are trying to trick me, pig, but I ran away from Ma, Pa, the dog, the cow and the horse, and now I'm going to run away from you. You think you can outrun me? asked the pig. I outran a prize racehorse. I know I can outrun you, little piggy, said the cornbread girl. Run, run, all around the world. You can't catch me. I'm the cornbread girl. She took off running down the road, leaving Ma, Pa, the dog, the cow, the horse and the pig behind. She ran down the road until she got to the lake. As she looked upon the lake, she heard a soft voice say, You are made of cornbread. If you go into that water, you will turn into stuffing. The cornbread girl turned and saw the fox. Oh, don't worry, said the fox. I don't like cornbread. I like rabbits and such. However, I know you want to get to the other side of the lake. I will take you across. But the fox was only thinking of a way to get the cornbread. OK, said the cornbread girl. Hop on, said the fox. The fox glided across the lake ever so slowly. We are going deeper into the water, little cornbread girl, he said. Grab my neck. The cornbread girl moved up to the fox's neck. We are going deeper into the water, little cornbread girl. Grab my nose, said the fox. The cornbread girl moved up to the fox's nose. The fox thought, Now I will flip the cornbread girl up in the air and gobble her up. But the cornbread girl knew what the fox was thinking. She saw a log floating by and quickly hopped onto the log and drifted away. She looked back at the fox and said, Run, run all around the world. You can't catch me. I'm the cornbread girl. She took off running down the road, leaving Ma, Pa, the dog, the cow, the horse, the pig and the fox behind. And some people say she is running to this day. The end.